Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to take a look at Netflix on the PS Vita. The app just recently got released pretty much at the same time as the PS Vita Wi-Fi edition came out. And um, you open it up here and you get the download from the PlayStation um, Store. When you do that, you can actually start a one month free trial if you do not have a Netflix um, subscription. If you do, you would just log in with your email and password like you normally would. And you can see, you'll see your information come up, you see your queue and stuff like that. One of the things I don't like here is that it, it, when you open it up, it looks like it has to connect to the PlayStation Network and do a few other things before it can actually go through to Netflix itself. And sometimes it could take a little bit of time for it to load up, not as fast as I would like it to be when I'm um, trying to open up movies, but um, it, it, it's going to be suitable for you to get uh, the job done there. All right, you see the instant cues here. And navigation is pretty interesting. So now, for navigation, you can um, you can see you can tap up and down like this on the D-pad and left and right on the D-pad as well. You can also use the analog sticks to scroll through as well. You can also use L and R like this. And you can also use the, you can also tap and um, scroll left to right like this, but you can't do swipe up and down. The only way you can navigate up and down is by tapping the up and down arrows as you see here. And they also have arrows for left and right as well too. So navigation isn't fully touch as you would think it is. And there's a little bit of hiccup from time to time when you're trying to swipe through via touch. And see, I naturally already wanted to swipe down to go up in it, but it doesn't have that ability to do so. So I pick a, a video here to test and some of the content on, on here see how I'll show you how it streams I uh, will show you here first uh, you can't search just type in your search and it'll bring up stuff so uh, let's see are you and then you can see it starts to try and bring up stuff there that just trying to figure out kind of what you're looking for but um, let's go ahead and let's open up Spongebob Squarepants gives you a little uh, preview synopsis of sort of uh, the, the rating how many episodes the the TV rating as well too, and you can also see the um, little, little bit of information about that particular um, video, so as you can see with SpongeBob. You can tap on it here, and it'll pretty much take you to the main page of that. It could tell you what's you know what season you want to play. If you want to play those season, add instant queue. You can check out for more episodes. You can see the different languages as well too that are that is available in. We can hit play, season one, episode one, and it loads up here. To see this pretty good quality and you can navigate by just tapping on the screen and you can hit the uh, navigation bar here and you can scroll you could also up here you'll see a little preview images as well too you can scroll up here to see where you want to go so if you want to go to that particular scene just tap on it there like that and it'll bring the scene up and there you go show too much of the video here but just that's just, just to give you guys a good example of that so that's pretty much Netflix on here it's okay um, I'm glad that it's on here I think they need to make some improvements to the app to work a little bit better with the PS Vita especially with this large touch screen that you have but overall it's gonna be a good experience and if you your movie goers out there you have your Netflix on the go on your PS Vita so this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you subscribe to our YouTube page follow us on Twitter become a fan of our Facebook fan page also check us out on Google Plus circle us in your circle of tech also, we're on Pinterest as well, too. The link to that and all social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.